Hello DaVinci Resolve Wizards, in today's video I'll show you how you can create this spinning CD effect inside DaVinci Resolve and we'll also learn how to create a seek bar inside uh, DaVinci Resolve. So let's get to it. First thing we'll do is go to the settings and make sure we know what framework we're working on. I set mine to 30 so let's uh, use 30 and click on save. You can go with 60 as well. And then what we're going to do is drag in the audio to the timeline. Then we're also going to drag in our fusion composition onto the timeline. Just go to the effects, fusion composition, drag it onto the timeline. And we just want to extend the length of this fusion composition and match it with the length of this audio. So our animation will continue or the CD will continue spinning for the entire length of this clip. And then we can just go to the fusion page where we will be creating our animation. So the first thing we'll do is drag in our background node. Let's take a look at this. And this is our background node. We're going to add in a ellipse mask to this. And on this ellipse mask, what we can do is we can just scale it down. And then what we are going to do is let's create another copy of this. I'm going to hold Control C and Control V on the keyboard. And on the ellipse mask, which is in the middle, select that, go to paint mode and set that to subtract. And then we can just scale it down. So yeah, there we have our CD graphic. And then what we are going to do is bring in our design or album art, whatever you want to use uh, inside DaVinci Resolve. I'm really using this image over here. And uh, we can just plug this in. Let's connect it with the background. This will result in a merge node. Let's take a look at this merge node. And on this merge node, what you have to do is just go to the operator and set that to ATOP. And now what that will do is put our graphic or the design inside the CD. Now, if you want to resize it after this media in one, you can do XF, shift spacebar, and then XF. Then we will get the transform, click on add. And with this transform node, we can just scale it down and position it properly. So I'm going to keep it somewhere over here. And now we just need to animate this uh, CD so that it spins continuously. Now we can use expression for this. So make sure you are on the merge one. And then on the angle, you can right click on it and click on expression. And then you can just type in a simple expression that is time multiplied by any value that you want. So let's go with 0.1. And what this will do is it will keep on spinning your CD in the left direction. If you want to go in the clockwise direction, just type in a negative value in front and that will spin the CD on the right side. If you want the speed to be a bit faster, you can change the value from 0 0.1 to 0 0.5. And now your animation will be a little bit faster. Now the next step is we'll add uh, the info over here and we also create a seek bar over here. So let's bring in a text plus node, connect it up like so. Let's view this merge node and on the text you just type in the name of the artist and the song name. So all right, then we can just go to the font and choose our font. Um, so we can go with anything that you want. Let's resize this and put it somewhere over here now what we have to do is create our seek bar and we can do that by bringing in our background let's connect it up with this merge let's take a look at this merge 3 and on this background 2 we'll change the color of it to white and add a rectangle mask to this let's bring it to the left side now we can just position it over here and just you know resize this something like that and we can reduce the width as well Now what you can do is add another background node and this will be our, uh, you know, the seek bar, the dot that will go from left to right. And uh, we can add a rectangle mask to this as well. Let's view this merge four. And again, we'll change the color of this background node to white and just simply change the shape to a square shape and just bring it here. We can just zoom in and, you know, try to position this properly. And then in the angle, I'm going to set this to 45. So it's kind of like a diamond icon. I'm going to put it over here. Okay, now to animate this, it's pretty simple. No expression. We just simply create a keyframe at the beginning of the center X and Y and go to the very end of our animation and just simply move it to the end of this line. So it's basically moving from point A to point B. All right, we are almost there. Now we just need to add the timing over here so let's do that let's drag in our text node connect it up with this merge let's take a look at this merge 5 
and on this text we'll just type in the total duration of this clip so if we go back to our fusion page the length of this clip is 2 minute and 53 seconds so let's just type that in the text plus node so we can do it type in 02 and 53 let's take, take a look at this merge let's zoom out and this is our text over here let's just bring this down over here and reuse the size and just try to place it over here all right so this is the final duration okay now let's create a copy of this i'm going to control c the text node and paste it over here and just connect it up and on this text node we'll just right click in the box and do a time code and once you do that then you'll see the modifiers tab at the top right over here just click on that and here we just need to disable some options so we have the hours just turn that off we don't want the frames as well and the frames per second that is really important we are working in a 30 fps project so we'll just type in 30 over here if you're uh, working in a 60 fps project then type in 60 or 24 whatever you want to type select this text and just move it let's take a look at this merge over here and move our text so now you can see our time code is working perfectly fine all right so the next step is to add a background to this so let's drag in a background connect it up like so and let's take a look at this merge 7 on this background node we can change it to any color that we want so maybe let's go with this color over here on this merge right click and click on swap inputs so that it uh, throws this background behind our text and the design over here and now what we will do is we'll add a little bit of shadow underneath the cd and this will really sell our effect so let's just do that let's drag in a background node again and just connect it up with this merge and on this background node let's view this merge first this background node just like that and add a rectangle mask to this and then we can just resize this like that and put it under our graphic over here and then we'll reduce the width as well maybe something like that and then on this background we'll just select this background node shift space bar and type in blur so we'll use the box blur click on add and we can untick or uncheck the gang and increase the horizontal strength and yeah there we have it so you can just play around with different settings over here to get the desired look and just uh, connect it up with the media out which is way at the top so let's just bring that in connect it up with the media out and go back to your edit page and you will have your animation over here so let me just mute the audio there you have it i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one